Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another exciting video, guys. In today's video, I'm just going to be talking about what I've done to my 335i so far. I haven't done too much. I haven't gone extreme yet. So I'm, I'll probably make this into a two-part, three-part video, depending or uh, not video, but series, depending on how long I decide to keep the car. But so far, I don't have any plans of selling the car. There are some issues where that annoys me about this car, but that'll be for another video. Like my gripes, the things that I like and dislike, that would be for another video. But this video is to talk about what I've done to my 335, uh, 335i so far. And since I'm already in the car, I'm gonna start with the interior, what I've done to the interior. So let's get started. So like I said, I'm gonna start with the interior of the car. There's not much going on in here. I've only done like one thing to the interior and that is this screen, this 10.5 inch Android screen that I've installed in here. This screen has been amazing. And then it has its, its issues. It has its pros and cons, but I think one of the best thing you could do to this car, if you have a non iDrive version of this car is to install that Android screen. Even if you have the, uh, the iDrive version, you can always install this screen, this uh, Android screen into your iDrive version. They have a, you know, you don't have to like <clears throat> completely modify, but there is a way you can replace the screen for a better screen than the ones that comes uh, from the factory. This is an OLED screen. It doesn't matter which time of the day, the, the screen just looks amazing. And you know, there's so much you could do with it. I'm gonna do a dedicated video, which I've planned to do now for a while on just, you know, everything that you can actually do on this screen. And like I said, there's not much I've done to the interior. Everything else is stock. Ignore that box of pizza that's on the passenger side. Everything else is still the same. I do plan on getting these seats and door panels dyed with uh, coral red or just, you know buying a red interior like you know but it's pretty expensive it's not it's not cheap so that's for a future date so let's get outside let me show you guys what i've done to the exterior of this car all right y'all so like i said i'm going to show you guys what i've done to the exterior of my 335i first thing i did was replace the the stock bumper with the M3 style front bumper. Then I replaced, I replaced the grill, going with the gloss black kind of look. And I also installed a tow hook, which is, you know, it adds some type of aesthetic, I don't know, look to the car. Next thing I did to the front was uh, these headlights. Uh, I got these headlights done at 180 NYC. You can check them out on Instagram. I will I will leave their Instagram either at the bottom of this video or in the description box below. But they did an amazing job with these headlights. Um, this is my original headlights. They just took the original headlights, modify, add in the uh, carbon fiber LED turn signal you know, and a RGB uh, angel eyes. So I'm gonna turn it on and show you guys what it looks like. Uh, I'm currently working on a separate video just talking about these headlights. So I'm not gonna talk about them that much. Like I said, I got them done. They're, they ran about $1,700. And next thing was, I haven't done anything to the wheels yet. Uh, these were my stock wheels. All I did was painted them. They, uh, they have to be repainted once again. Uh, sorry about the noise. I basically just repainted the wheels. They didn't do much there. The mirrors, I actually exchanged them with a carbon fiber, kind of like the M3, M4 style uh, mirror caps. Next thing I did was 
with the trim. The car is filthy right now. I apologize for the noise. I feel like I'm at a factory, but I'm not. I'm by like a expressway, something like that. But I basically painted the trim. They were chrome. Instead of getting them wrapped, I just, you know, I just took the day and just, just repainted them black. And they're not bad. You know, they're a little dirty right now because the car is dirty. I'm gonna have to wash the car. I probably should have done that before I did this video, but that's the next thing I did. I painted the trim. Next thing was when I bought the car, the previous owner had a wing on the car already. Uh, this silver ring, I mean wing to match the car. And this is the company that it's from. That's hard to see. I'm trying to focus on that. That is the company that the uh, the silver wing is from, but I bought this carbon fiber wing from uh, a buddy of mine. And you know, he was gonna install it on his car, but it didn't fit well. So he's like, yo, why don't you try this on your car? Maybe it fits. And when I bought it, I had intended to replace these silver wings with the carbon fiber ones. But I just decided to put it on top of the, uh, the original wing that was on the car. And I realized that it looked good. Like it didn't look bad at all. Let me just step back a little bit. I realized that it looked good. And I'm like, you know what? What is a, a, a wing on top of a wing will look like on this car? And this is my taste. This is not everybody's taste, but for me, it looks freaking amazing. Like. It looks so awesome on this car. So I just decided to just install it and just keep it that way. And so far I've gotten a lot of great uh, uh, comments from people when I go places. They're like, oh bro, what you do to that car? What you do to that wing? That, that thing looks sick, man. You know, I do get some negative comments with people who feel like this these cars, uh, you don't need to add anything else or th that the wing looks stupid. I mean, for me, it's my taste what I like, so. I decided to keep that. The next thing I did was the rear bumper. I I bought this bumper off eBay. This is the M4 style uh, rear bumper. And the good thing about this is that it just, it, it adds such a good look to this car. It's like make the car look so freaking awesome and it adds a more aggressive look to the car. You know, and I've been rocking it ever since, man. I'm, it looks good, and then th there are some angles, if you look at the car, from like this angle like this, it looks ridiculous, it looks ugly. You can, uh, I've already talked about this in another video, but I'm sticking with this look, I'm not gonna change it. That's That's just what it is. You know, unless I get another N54 build that I could, you know, modify differently. Um, yes, next thing I did was uh, I had the exhaust modify to, you know, match the bumper and just have like that M3, M4 style look in the back. I got a muffler delete, resonator delete, and the car sounds great. I'll just give you guys a quick exhaust. Probably like a quick exhaust note.
right y'all so the next thing i did was with the engine engine bay so i replaced my factory charge pipe with the vrsf charge pipe i did not add a blow off valve yet i will do that in a at another time i also replaced the factory air intake with the bms performance intake a lot of people complain about these saying that they make the car slow because all they do is uh suck in hot air instead of with the factory intake it actually sucks out cold air from the front from the uh the grill goes in here and you know boom so they said it make the car slower i haven't really noticed anything but yeah to eat your son next thing i did was i replaced the uh the filter with the uh again the uh burger motorsports uh cow filters and i added also a what you call it uh oil catch can you know which is nice to have um and that's basically it so far i'm going to add a intercooler maybe something from uh vrsf you know because the car do run a little hot like i do be hitting around like 230 you know 230 which is pretty hot and yeah man but the car runs great I haven't have any i haven't had any major major issues so far the only issues i issues i have with this car is just misfires you know the normal n54 shenanigans but other than that the car has been great it hasn't failed me yet you know it has a lot of miles on it but again it still runs great I haven't noticed any major issues i did get a check check engine light the other day for cylinder two misfire because of a bad coil and it's been about a week after replacing the coil. I haven't had any uh, any uh, cylinder misfire codes or whatsoever since then. You know, so yeah, man. Let me just close this hood. And that's that's about it. Nothing else has been done. It's you know. I don't know if that intake and that charge pipe added some some horsepower, but that's that's basically it. So yes, guys, that's basically it. That's all I've done to this car so far. I do have uh, a bunch of other modifications that I have to do on this car. A bunch of other things that I have to add to this car. Uh, but first, before you do any of those things, you got to make sure that the car is running right. So maintenance before performance, maintenance before modifications or any type of modifications, which I didn't do at first because when I got the car, it didn't have any, like literally didn't have uh, too much issues. Uh, the only issues I had was the tire light was on. I had some misfires, but I didn't, it, it was so minor that I didn't really think too much of it. It didn't affect the performance of the car and I wasn't getting any codes uh, at all for a very long time. I wasn't getting any codes uh, relating to that misfire until, like I said, two weeks ago, I got the check engine light for a cylinder tube misfire and it was a bad coil. I replaced that. Ever since then, no code, no issues. So again, before, uh, make sure the car is running right make sure your car is performing right before you add modifications take care of those issues and th uh, this car will actually i know this these cars gets a lot they get a lot of uh, a bad rep uh but the thing is the people who buy these cars and give you know and don't have a good experience with them are the people who just buy the car and just do stupid things with it like they just again like it's stupid to buy the car 
knowing the car have issues, sorry, there's a train going by. It's not wise knowing that your car have an issue and you don't take care of the issues, but you're still driving the car. Like, it, it, it the car's not gonna be good to you. Like, it's gonna break down, you're gonna have a lot of issues. It's gonna add to whatever issues that's already existed on the car. So these, like, BM, uh, mostly with BMWs, like, you gotta, you, these cars, you don't treat like regular cars. Like, you gotta treat these cars like, like a newborn baby. Treat them with care and they will be wonderful to you. Treat them with love. Make sure you take care of what needs to be taken care of uh, mechanically. And yeah, you know, again, I, I've had some issues, like basically with like my run flat tires, but it was my decision to keep running run flats on this car. You know, the only reason I kept the run flats is, uh, is simply because of the look man like i just i love that low profile look you know the car is lowered so it just it gives it that wonderful nice low profile look but these run flats they don't last like every time you go th you go through a couple of potholes and boom the tire is done so i've re i replaced three tires already um and these tires are expensive this like 700 700 and change for two sets of run flats Plus the third one that you know I recently did, so they ran me about close to nine hundred dollars, so or about nine hundred and change. So yeah, I'm close to a thousand dollars for three tires. Nah. So I'm basically gonna be running like if I have any more issues with these tires, I'm gonna be replacing them with just regular tires, man. Screw that. I ain't got money like that. But anyway, if you took the time to watch this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like the video, share the video, uh, leave a comment, man. Let me know what you think about, you know, the video, if I made any mistakes, if I forgot anything, uh, just whatever you don't like, let me know, man, maybe so I can improve on that. And, you know, I'm, I'm not afraid of criticism, you know, let me know, speak to me, talk to me, communicate, you know. And that's basically it. Uh, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.